So I just got a package in the mail. Time to open it up. Alright, let's take a look. So, this is in its package. So, you see, the thing is, I originally wanted to uh, see about these San Diego Comic Con limited edition plushes for Steven Universe characters. The thing is, though, they didn't have a lot of characters. Like, they didn't have the OG Crystal Gems, unless you. No, they didn't have the OG Crystal Gems, now that I think about it. They. The ones they had were like. Paradots with a diamonds, lion, this mystery character with a cape. I don't know. I haven't watched the show in a year. And that Lapis Isley, which was from 2017 as opposed to 2018, and had a giant markup. But anyway, this is. Oh, dear. Her legs sticking out with the packaging. Oh well, you can't necessarily say it's mint in the box if it's not in the box. And you can't even say it's mint in the bag if you haven't sealed it all the way. So, this is a paradox and uh, Well... She doesn't look very pleased. As you can see... This is her bird to my head. Yeah, Look, looks about the right size. There's a sticker. This is of 1500. This is number 11. Number 11 for 1500? Huh. They're doing worse than I thought. When I first heard of these being at like $30 each, it's uh, uh, and 1500 of them selling. I was like, okay, if, he, if Steven Universe fans really were enthusiastic, I mean, you have the special edition version of Journal 3 from Gravity Falls, they had 10,000 of those, and those sold out, I don't know how long they sold out, but you would think that this would have gotten some form of quasi-similar treatment, because that's kind of comparing apples and oranges, but... Anyway, this is just, uh, how do you do that again? I can't see to, uh, oh, it's really hard to do it like that, but. Seems like the fabric is pretty sturdy, though I don't know how this would work on play. It seems like an accurate representation of her figure in the series. You got the diamonds, you got all this sort of stuff. What to say, they've done a good job of it. I have to say, making an accurate representation of Steven Universe characters in instead of like the fanciful representations that they've been doing with a lot of Steven Universe characters for a while now because they've been worried that. They won't uh, particularly sell. This is refreshing change of pace. Now we'd like to see more of these for other characters. I'd say quality is pretty good for the price. Eight and a half out of ten. But I also really appreciate the size of it. I should consider 
seeing what the others are. But that will require me watching more of the series. And the and those guys having more characters that I would like to have. Oh wait, it says here, remove all hang tags and their fasteners before giving this product to a child. Oh, so this was was meant to be for a child to use. Hmm. Here's one thing: in the packaging, it in the on the Amazon page, it said we don't know why fan. No, why fans love Peridot, but they can't seem to get enough of her, and neither can we, meaning the people who posted that. Hand wash, air dry, polyester fiber. Hmm. This, though, this, though, is a little weird having fabric on the face and you know how it is, the tiny little fibers poking out, that's an issue. I mean, yeah, this is meant to be a stuffed doll essentially, but... Also, I think this, I think the waist here is kind of crooked, so that could also be an issue. This, it's like really good idea. Really strong, representative, just a few flaws here and there, and so I gave it the 8.5 rating. Would I recommend it? Probably, if you're a Steven Universe fan, or heck, maybe even if you're not. So far as I know, she is a, she's like, kind of sort of tech support, but from, you know, from thousands of years more advanced than us. I wonder if anyone can mod this. So it can have the lemon answers or something. I wonder when they're gonna find Paradox lemon answers. They know more or less where they are. They already have one the piece. The others are just outside the galaxy warp. Oh well. Yes, enough of this. Back in the package for now. Come on. And we'll see you next time. I still can't believe I got number 11 out of this. <laughs>